President Efren El Banbuena, officers and members of the Mindanao Communications Network, ladies and gentlemen and friends, good afternoon. On behalf of President Benigno S. Aquino III, I wish to welcome all of you to this Mindacom Net Congress and Workshop. You have chosen a most appropriate venue, Cagayan de Oro City, the city of golden friendship. Your conference theme is both timely and relevant. In a few days, our country and people will host the APEC Economic Leaders Meeting in Manila. The eyes of the world will be on the Philippines and the Filipinos. We will welcome the leaders of the world and their delegations with our warm and heartfelt hospitality. Of course, we want them all to experience the full meaning of the phrase, it's more fun in the Philippines. Even as they discuss significant issues and concerns that will shape the future of Asia and the Pacific, we would like them to feel at home. That's why we are sparing no efforts and leaving no stone unturned to ensure that they will have a truly meaningful and memorable APEC Summit experience. The theme for the APEC 2015 Summit is Building Inclusive Economies, Building an Inclusive World. This theme underlines our own country's strategic objective to attain inclusive economic growth and progress. No one is left behind. Walang maiiwanan sa daloy ng progreso at kaundaran. During the past five and a half years, our government has prioritized the equalization of opportunity. Through the Pantawid Pamilyang Pilipino Program, we have endeavored to promote the well-being of the least of our brethren. This program ensures the continuous education of grade school children and that because they are kept healthy and well-nourished, they will not drop out of school. We are also providing technical skills and livelihood training for the fathers and mothers of beneficiary families. The World Bank has commended our country for having one of the best social protection programs. Also, for the past five years, our country has registered the highest five-year average growth in gross domestic product in the last 40 years at 6.2%, one of the highest in Asia. Hence, from being the sick man of Asia, the Philippines is now considered as Asia's rising star. As we build an inclusive economy, we are doing our part in building an inclusive world. This year, 2015, is the year of ASEAN integration. The one ASEAN economic community will be formally established during the ASEAN Summit in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia, immediately following the APEC Summit. One ASEAN means establishing a more cohesive, more unified, and more integrated interaction among the 10 member countries. To signify our commitment to one ASEAN, our government has accelerated the pace of infrastructure development, especially airports and seaports that connect us with the rest of our region. We have also aligned our policies, standards, and practices so that we will maximize the opportunities for working together with our ASEAN neighbors. In 2017, as ASEAN celebrates its Golden Jubilee Year, the Philippines will once again occupy center stage as the chairman and host of ASEAN. 
I urge all of you, the professional communicators of Mindanao, to level up and contribute your best talents and energies so that our people may be mobilized to participate in the initiatives of APEC and ASEAN. Let us focus our energies, especially on creating opportunities for our small and medium enterprises, where Filipino intelligence, innovation, and creativity are best exemplified. Let us continue working together in the spirit of Bayanihan to promote the health, welfare, and well-being of all our fellow Filipinos. Finally, let us persevere in building peace in Mindanao. Peace is the best foundation for economic opportunity, progress, and growth. I wish you all a most fruitful Mindacomnet Conference. Maraming maraming salamat po. Mabuhay ang bansang Pilipinas.